Ah, YouTube time. Mm. I've been asleep for five years? Wait, what if in that very first Sandersides episode, I went to sleep and never woke up? Have all my memories with the sides these past five years been a dream? Nah, but that'd be wild, right? What's up, everybody? We have recently rounded the corner of making these Sandersides videos for five years. Half a decade of self-examination through essentially talking to myself. And honestly, like truly honestly, scripting aside, it is really cool to see how much growth a person can achieve in that amount of time. I have worked to understand my anxiety, Realized my capacity for deceit, philosophically debated selfishness while considering Machiavellian like principles, went to the mall. Don't underplay that one, that one's really big for me. And Lord, we ate a lot of jam. Not quite sure how that played such a huge part in this series, but it did. And these talks have meant a lot to me, like every facet of me. You know, in television, five years is about that time that they would make one of those really self-indulgent interviews with the cast where they'd laugh and talk about their favorite moments on and off screen. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Wow, we sure have had some wild times, huh? And I know there are those out there that wanna know what your thoughts are on five years of Sandersides. It is hard to believe that it's been five years of these discussions, mainly due to the fact that we've only had a little over nine and a half hours on screen together, if you don't count our interactions that are not considered canonical to the core series, but even then. My point is I don't think that we deserve the celebration. Cheers. Happy birthday! Sanders Sides would be in kindergarten now! Oh my gosh, it would be going off to its first day of school, making its first friends, eating the chuck. Oh my gosh, okay, I got, I'm making myself cry again. Oh gosh, who left this juice out? Hello, I'm Roman. Chronically single, I'm a Gemini, and I like long duels on the beach. Roman, I'm sorry, what is this again? All right, just be sure to get the best side of this best side, right? <laughs> that one's for the promos. Oh, five years and we're still going strong with the wordplay, right, fellas? <laughs> Roman! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just so woefully unprepared for this. Our anniversary! Thomas's viewers amazingly graced with five years of me. <laughs> and the others, sure. Hey, yeah, congrats, guys. Five years of putting up with me. It has felt much longer than that. Mostly because I've had to deal with them, too. But, you know, I guess all that stormy weather got us to this miserable point, huh? Can I go? Mm, yes, happy five years. Five drama-free years. It really is astounding how these little meetings of the mind lead to clear and concise conclusions that leave everyone so happy and angst-free. Okay, Janice, I, I know that this is like your whole thing, but this is a positive look back on how far we've come. So your recent appearances on screen have been fun additions. Uh, do you feel like you're gelling with the cast? Oh yes. Let's see. There's my new bestie, Patton, who's always been so good at keeping you in check. I I'm sure you'd be totally lost without a man-child who ties a cat hoodie around his neck. Ah! <laughs> Jan said that, huh? Oh, that jokester. He knows how easily cold my shoulders get. Call him a colders. And Logan. Ugh, you can totally see how he's your sense of reason. Especially when he makes mistakes. Okay, it's just very interesting that Janice would be so quick to bring up that point when the odds of a mistake happening again are infinitesimal. Huh? Roman. You know, despite our differences, I personally see ourselves in this lovely friendship, akin to me being the Voltaire to his Rousseau. He said that about me? I, I don't have enough information to decide how I feel about that. And Virgil. Well, there's not much to say there. 
Except that I do so love the consistency of his makeup. <laughs> that father mucker! Hey, hey, check it out. I'm Roman. Get my best side, am I right? Oh, I can't believe this is how I'm finding out where your emblem is. Hey, Remus, um, can we sit correctly, buddy? Who says there's a correct way to sit? You ever think about that, man? Remus. Expand your fucking mind, bro. Can you just... Mm. Everybody has given their thoughts on the past five years of the series. Do you have any thoughts you'd like to add? He asked, knowing he'd regret it. Oh, you mean the three videos that I was in? Yeah, they were fine. Nothing like what's coming up. Uh, what? No, oh, honey. You got a big storm coming. Up! Ah, ah, soap! Sheesh! You couldn't just tell me to stop? Kill a guy for being excited, why don't you? Really? Why don't you? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So he was insulting me. That's just that. That. Why? <laughs> I hate that guy. A favorite memory from the show? That. That is just so hard. There have been so many wonderful moments with everyone. Shoot, even Janice and I have been getting closer. The other day, he gave me half his sandwich. I mistook him for a garbage can. Quite a lot has changed in the past years, not only with you learning about Janice's and Remus's existence, but also in how we conduct our day-to-day. -day. Some examples being us generally talking to each other more respectfully and leaving behind past toxic behaviors. Of course, there's still work to be done on that front. The talking may be there, but the listening is another story. Oh, boo-hoo, the others used to be mean to each other. Do you know how bored I was before you decided to confront me? All I did was walk around and look for stuff in your head to fuck with. There was this one sick-ass room I found to hang out in called the Mind Palace. Big, echoey place. I can't believe you decided to ditch it after one episode. So wasteful. Uh, there was actually one amazing perk to not being in the spotlight for a while. Anytime they are left to deal with a stubbed emotional toe, Remus and I had the opportunity to indulge ourselves in something truly devious. Heading back to my room for a sec, guys. I forgot my pants. Get out, get out. That's who was using my DDR? I thought it was a ghost. Oh, hell yeah. You got my nickname down there? You know, you should add pissy to Roman so we can match. You know, like, princey. <laughs> Classic. What? What is that? <laughs> that was, uh, Remus. That mother-loving, mustachioed mug bug! Excuse me a moment, I have to go healthily communicate my feelings with my brother. Oh. Well, I'd say communication for me is uh, better. Totally, 100% able to communicate my feelings now like a champ. No problemo. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The, uh, the abstract stuff helped a lot though, you know, like those puppets. Yeah. Surprisingly, didn't hate how those were used to handle an issue. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was wondering, do you ever still... Sometimes. I couldn't find him. Might have gone back to hiding in the walls. Who broke this vase? Hey, nice callback. Don't use the word callback around me. But since we're on the topic of performing, one thing I'd like to see more of, songs. We need more musical numbers. As a theater kid, theater man, I'm an adult man. I feel musically constipated. I mean, do you know how hard it is to talk about the last five years and not make a Jason Robert Brown reference? <laughs> that one's for the fellow theater kids out there. The songs are fine. If you don't count the 12 Days of Christmas rewrite. Ah, yes, the songs. Grammy-winning numbers you all break into. Emphasis on the you all, because I've been absent for every single one. And I could not be more happy about that. Ask Janice about our song, Lies. It was a song about lies! And I wasn't there for it! Well then, shut up! What did Virgil say about my 12 Days of Christmas rewrite? This is about the bubblegum shrimp thing, isn't it? Look, the muse doesn't always come to visit. I can't be expected to pump out metaphors and similes like some simile-making thing. See? The shrimp line was a last-minute addition, and I have no clue where it came from. Oh yeah, I whispered that to him in his sleep. <sighs> I need to cool off. Switching topics, if this is our little cast special, Shouldn't we talk about the newest addition to our cast? Newest addition? Thomas, I'm talking about Nico! Oh, oh gosh! Roman, 
<laughs> nah, come on, Thomas. Hey, I know that I'm getting along a little bit better with Scaramore, but he needs to let me speed things up a bit, all right? We should be on like a millionth base with Nico already. Yeah, f millionth base, okay, what is that? Like space marriage officiated by Gandalf and fucking Dumbledore? That's exactly what it is. Wow, he got that like right on the money. <laughs> yeah, Nico, he, he seems nice. Looking forward to getting to know him. I am intrigued to know what his interests may consist of. Maybe math, sports, metal miking. Sorry, biking metal. Oh, okay. You know, can I be honest about something? I, I know we've all moved past it, but that time when we were still pretending to be straight and you all were flirting with a fake Valerie still haunts me. <laughs> well, I think that I was going for more like a sexually ambiguous. Uh, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Right? Not our most feminist moment. I've thought about it every day. Okay, well, we'll make better memories and we'll forget about it eventually, hopefully. Oh, if we're talking new memories, then maybe when you get a puppy, like a real puppy, that will be my favorite moment. Ooh, I miss having a pet. Why does everyone care so much about what happened to Sacagawea the hamster? Folks, she's gone. She mysteriously disappeared and no one has a clue where she went. Shh. Are you implying that she's under your hat? No, I'm implying you all use your brains. She's gone. I know we've had a lot of successes in the past five years, but do you have any regrets? Do I have any regrets? Hmm. Do you want me to go alphabetically or... What? Me? Regret? <laughs> I have one regret. Wait, that doesn't look like Lee and Mary Lee's wedding. Did you print out a stock image? You didn't take any photos! I needed something to look upon whilst I lament! I do regret throwing that paper at Puppet Roman. It was... Immature of me. Oh, I also wish I'd thrown paper at Logan first. That would have been sweet. Regrets? Oh, I have a few. Like, not sharing my feelings with the others. Uh, especially when I was sad. We could have had so many boys' nights. <gasps> with ice cream! I also regret starting Logan off on that whole falsehood bit. Falsehood! <laughs> Regrets? Yeah, I don't know why I'm asking you that question. My bad. Also, the uh, boiled carrots. Gosh, uh, one huge regret I have is a lack of attention to detail. Oh, Janice, go, no, don't, don't be so tough on yourself. Oh, it's all right. I've grown. Oh, great. And lastly, um, yeah, <laughs> achieving consciousness. That was, uh, that was a big one. It's amazing how much can change in five years. I'd like to think that I've grown. It's been nice getting to understand each other better, at least. Patton and Logan and, and Virgil. Virgil's come a long way. I hope he knows how much we love him. We could not function without him, as we saw. Think fast! Oh, my sweet Cole Sprouse. What? That really hurt. Oh, gross. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to say to that. I guess it's nice to know that they think they feel that way. Oh, we're like a big happy family. And I'm the dad, and Logan's the mom. Why am I the mom? What gender roles are we pushing here? I know they're probably thinking I'm like the son, but I'm not. I'll be the gay emo cousin. I will be the son, the hotshot, whose only dream is to be a star. I feel like I'd be a fresh out of jail uncle. And I'm the sassy aunt who talks shit about everyone. <laughs> I know this is a pretty intense question to ask, but what do you think is next for us? You tell me. We seal the deal with Nico and we live happily ever after. <laughs> Simple. I think things are just gonna keep getting better, right? If we keep communicating. Probably something else I'm going to hate. Oh, who's to say? Heartbreak? Betrayal? 
You won't be bored, I can tell you that. And I shall be learning to better receive acceptance and praise. Wow, Remus. That actually sounds really healthy and productive. Thank you. Acceptance and praise are the names of my vibrators. Okay, and that's my cue to wrap this up. Thank you all for talking with me, guys. I seriously don't know where I'd be without you. There's not much else to say except Happy Fifth Anniversary! Happy, Happy Fifth, Fifth Anniversary! Cystic Surgeries! What everyone else say? So yeah, a special might look a little something like that. A walk down memory lane saturated with too many self-referential jokes and anecdotes that would surely ostracize any non-fan watching. But we really have gone through so many changes. I mean, heck, compare Logan's behavior at the start of the series to now. Sorry, nope. Done with the self-referential anecdotes. I guess what it's got me thinking is how will they change in the years to come? How will they grow? How will I grow? How will any of us grow? Of course, there's no knowing how we're growing. All we can do is keep an open mind and an open heart and keep checking in with ourselves because we still might not know if we know ourselves as well as we could. Until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out. Would you like to escape to a wonderful world? With heroes, villains, and more to unfurl? Ridiculous battles and super cool magic. Perhaps, dare I say, something angsty and tragic? Prepare yourself for... Hope that you all enjoyed that trailer, because I'm excited. I don't know why I added that, but I was excited. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. First and foremost, I gotta give a huge hand, nope, not literally, a huge round of applause to our writer's room that worked with us to make this script. You all had a huge hand in that, nope, not literally, a huge hand in the creation of the jokes and stuff that went into this particular video. If any of you are interested in joining our writer's rooms to help flesh out videos or offer jokes or any other insight, you can check that out on Roman's tier over at our Patreon, patreon.com slash Thomas Sanders. It's a lot of fun. Check out anything and everything that we have to offer over there. Any of your support is hugely appreciated. Also, I am very excited to announce that we got to work with six incredibly talented artists to make our very first Sanderside's themed calendar. It is freaking gorgeous. Get it for the year 2022 to help organize and just look at beautiful art. Thank you for everyone who had a hand in this. No, not a literal hand in this. <laughs> All right, that's enough announcements. I'll let you go. Thank you again so much for every bit of support that you all have provided these past five years. I love you all so much. I've said goodbye enough. Bye. And that last goodbye doesn't count. Oh, there's my snack. <laughs> How'd you get here?